Take two. All right, guys, this video was uh, requested by Funkmaster Celia. Last video, I said that I was kind of on the road to Heroes Con, uh, which is uh, about you know, less than two weeks away. So, uh, you know, wouldn't really have a lot of material for videos buying new stuff. But, uh, you know, she mentioned uh, in the comment section she'd be interested in seeing some trading cards. I'm not expecting a lot of hits on this video, but this is fun. So I pulled out about 75% of my stuff that was easy to get to in the closet. And uh, I'll just kind of talk you through it. First of all, I've been, I've collected these off and on. I've probably lost more than I will ever own again over the years and stuff uh, because we were kids. But you'd get 15 cents to a quarter, get you a pack of uh, cards. I think they'd have like five to eight in them or something like that. Who knows? But when they started out, they were like cardboard, um, much like uh, the Batman ones here. And, um, you know, a lot of people would uh, do what they did with like the sports cards and stuff. They would turn around and uh, put them uh, on, the, on their bikes to where their spokes would hit a corner of it and it would rattle and things like that. We'd play around. Um, always got stickers. I started out with Kiss cards, uh, the original Superman movie cards, wacky packs, uh, picked up things, odds and ends. And I'm pretty proud because most of the stuff uh, up until about five years ago, uh, I got the honest way. You know, I kind of bought them in the store. Maybe you might have seen a few things here and there. I've been hitting eBay because I'm really tired of having holes in my collection. And before I go on, I have a set of rock and roll cards from like 1989 or 1990, and I can't find them. And uh, if somebody stole them and you're watching this, I'm going to tell your mom, and then I'm going to come over to your house, and I'm not going to knock. But anyway, uh, but the whole concept of the trading cards uh, is that you would get doubles, many, many doubles, right? And you'd have so hopefully have friends or meet people who also collected cards, and they might have doubles, and you would trade them to try to get a complete set. Uh, they get more and more fancy. People started realizing uh, these cases came out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not the expert on this. This is just what I've noticed. I don't know the history of this stuff. But uh, they knew they would put these in the cases. This is a complete set of Superman return cards that I worked my butt off when the movie came out. But anyway, uh, and they started putting like a card that would be a cover, like, uh, you know, on a book or something there to be right on top of it before we would go on. Um, Garbage Pail Kids, man, these things were hot. Right on top, Rocky Horror. Now, these are some of my original ones that were mine. I found some at yard sales over the years and stuff, right? And, uh, you had A and B cards. Like, this is, uh, who knows what series this is. This is probably from between 85 and 87, 1985 and 1987. But, uh, you had uh, A and B cards. See how it says 135A? Well, they did that because these cards would be printed twice and they'd have a different name. They, this A card is Rocky Horror. Uh, you can actually see that it's inspired by Dr. Frankenfurter there. And, uh, 135B would be the same card with a different name. Now, if anybody sees anything I'm showing here, um, and you want me to do a separate video just on those cards, I'll do that. Um, found this wax pack of DC and Marvel. Had uh, got it in the game there for a while, and these are my doubles, and I, I keep the packs. Whoa, something wrong with my phone. Keep the packs. I have, I'll show those in a minute. Found this wax pack of Robocop. Robocop. These are my doubles. Um, some of my favorite cards came out. I think these came out in the 90s. Uh, but this was the Madman um, bubblegum cards, uh, bubblegum not included. And Mike Arid uh, was able to somehow, if it'll focus, get all of these comic book artists to come in and each do uh, more of a less a pinup of um, Madman. I mean, you got Alex Toth, Art Adams, Jack Kirby, Will Eisner, John Bolton, Kyle Baker, Scott Hapton, and on and on and on, Charles Viss, Alex Ross. Uh, he ended up using some of these... Um, you know, cards, I guess, or whatever, these pinups for uh, covers to his comics. And he ended up, uh, I think he came out with a two-issue gallery where you just get that. I buy these wherever I can pretty cheap, uh, keep them sealed. But, of course, I have one that I don't have sealed. I'll get to the good stuff in a minute, the movie cards, guys. And uh, just some great stuff. These are just fun. Just so much fun. It's kind of cool to just let, you know, I mean, it can, I mean, how many people can actually say they got Jack Kirby to come in and do a card? You know, so uh, just fun stuff. Dave Stevens is in there. You know, things like that. Really cool stuff. Um, around the 2000s, I started noticing these boxes come out. These are Peter Jackson, um, King, his King Kong. It's really cool because the cover uh, is raised. 
you know, to match uh, King Kong's face. And when you bought these, you'd get a couple packs of, uh, you know, the com you know the regular cards. And then they would always have a special card as an incentive in here. It might be a sticker, some kind of special edition card. Uh, and mainly you would have a big piece of styrofoam in there to take, up, take it up. They are measured out to be perfectly sized to store cards in here. I don't know what's in here. I have more of these. I have uh, some Superman somewhere. If I oh, look at this. It's not a card, but I've been looking for this. This is the actual cassette um, <laughs> holdout when I bought uh, Pulp Fiction, the soundtrack back in 94. I've been looking for that. I want to set that to the side. Yeah, here's some more. Uh, but, you know, cards would set perfectly if it wasn't in this little bag here. But you could set your cards in there and store them like that and just kind of go through them. But, uh, yeah, here's some more Garbage Pail Kids. Um, some Wizard cards. These are extras. I'll show you what that is in a little bit. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, troll, what is this? Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember finding these. Uh, trolls. These are uh, these little good luck charms. These little plastic dolls that came out in the 80s with wild hair. And they had a whole trash. They had a whole card series for those I never knew about. This was a pisser. I found some uh, garbage. These garbage pill kids I found at a yard sale. They had a... They had a whole bunch of complete cards, stickers on top. And as you started digging through there, after you got home, some kid or somebody had ripped off the border around there. So that was a pisser. But uh, these were pretty cool. Um, I used these to keep late, keep the original packaging and stuff. There's Kong. Um, what else is in here? There's no telling. Superman Returns. Oh, yeah, I'll show you Star Wars Clone Wars. That's, my, that's one of my favorite sets of cards. But... Yeah, as you can see, I just have tons of this stuff. There's Batman in here and all sorts of stuff. So we'll come over here to the actual... Oh, sorry about the shaky cam, man, but I'm just trying to get this out here. But, uh, so I keep these in three ring binders. I don't really get too fancy, and I go out and I'm, I'll pick up a pack of these. Oh, right on top, we have the Tim Burton stuff, and I knew that because I've already shot this, but here's Sleepy Hollow. Uh, these are usually numbered on the back, and it's sort of like you're able to hit pause on the uh, you know widescreen uh, movie there sometimes. And they'll have extra cards that have scenes that weren't in the movie. You'll see some production. I mean, they got really fancy with these. And they would walk you through the whole story uh, on the back. You could actually, these would come out before the movies and you would have spoilers. Let me get situated. Here's your some Johnny Depp. Some Christopher Walken. So just really cool stuff. Um, like hitting pause on this let's get that light off of there let me find an angle guys all right but anyway i think you get the point but uh like i said here's sleepy hollow more sleepy hollow and then we come up here to planet of the apes uh tim burton's planet of the apes uh i'm, I'm gonna get every card set that came out for a tim burton movie um i'm a fan even if the, sometimes the movies suck Charlton Heston as an ape, people. Charlton Heston as an ape. Take it in. Dade's father. And, uh, you know, Mark Wahlberg. It's probably the only movie that I'll ever own or watch that has Mark Wahlberg in it. Except for maybe Ted. I give him a pass for Ted. Tim Roth. Uh, it's good stuff. All right, moving on. Let's see what the next set is. Yeah, there's the director, the behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah, like I said, they really put some... These these cards really got concept art from the movie. Designs. You know. You know, it just depends how movies... Okay, now this set here, this set was uh, really, really hot for a hot minute. This set of cards was made from some up-and-coming uh, um, company. This is for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I really like this this set of cards. Um, you know, I don't think the movie needs to be remade, but it is what it is. You know, no big deal. Um, so this was really cool, but this actually got hot. I, I, I found a complete set of this for practically nothing at a flea market, this set here. And then all of a sudden I started hearing that this was worth money for a while because they didn't print enough. Uh, are they worth money now? I don't know. But uh, hopefully this is all showing up. Yeah, but... Yeah, widescreen. They're all widescreen. So, yeah, you get the complete movie. There's some really, I really enjoy these. Colorful, embossed. No, this, this, these, this is a really interesting set. They keep your attention. I should walk you through the movie. Now, what do we have here? The Rocketeer. All right. Yeah, this is probably from around 90, 91. 
But uh, yeah, here's some Rocketeer movie cards from Disney. This is when they were still just on cardboard, right? And you could get walked through the whole movie. You're turning to the screen, Jimmy Blake. You get biographies and stuff and walk through the movie. And what was really cool about the cards, uh, and I, I saw that less and less, is that on the back of some of these, if you've got the cards, let's fly through here, uh, you can make puzzles on the back of them. Oh, that's such a good shot. And we end up like looking at these more and more. But it, like I said, it's just kind of cool to pause and just look at these. I would use these as references if I was a painter or something, more of a painter. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. A lot of good action shots. But anyway, on the back of these, you could make a, uh, a puzzle and they, you would have to do it. Like that would be the puzzle. This would be your key. Sometimes you would have a card to let you know that this was the key. Here's some stickers. Look at these awesome stickers for Rocketeer. Just fantastic stuff. You can get lost. Dave Stevens. Great stuff. Great, 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 great stuff. Anyway, but uh, you would arrange these to where, um, you know, you make the border. You have the red and white border to let you know which one are the edges since they're all the same shape. And you'd have a really cool poster. This cool stuff. We got some Kong in here. Now these, these are actually fuzzy. These are the ones that I think came in the King Kong tins that I bought. You, if you do this, it's it's like a Velcro filling thing, really soft fuzz. You know, good stuff. Concept art. I uh, really need to get on my King Kong stuff. I got my Robocop. You coming with me, punk? So yeah, I don't think I have a bunch of the stickers for this stuff. I got we got a lot to look at here, and there's the puzzle for this one. And I do take them out. I'll take a picture if I do them. Um, next one we have here. Here we go. The Superman. This is a mix of uh, my originals from when I was four and five years old. Maybe. How old was I? I think I was about five. We'll go five and six. I don't want to exaggerate. And buying an incomplete set I found on eBay to fill it up. So uh, this Christopher Reeves is my Superman. I didn't stand a chance. I was a kid when it came out. There we go. 1978. And when you come over here, you know, you got pieces of the puzzle when I was telling you about, but these are solid cardboard, man. You get the, I mean, look at the work they actually put in this card for card going through the movie. Good stuff, man. Um, there's one in here I've always liked, got a kick out of. It's Superman holding a, whoa. It's a Superman. Look at these shots, man. Superman holding a, uh, maybe it's in Superman 2. But anyway, there's a shot of him holding like flowers in the Fortress of Solitude, which cracks me up. Great stuff, man. Marlon Brando and Laura, their final moments. The melodrama. The melodrama. They even, and then you get these special cards that kind of give you trivia, first appearance. So, I mean, you know, these were just fun. You can tell people it made them have fun. Marlon, uh, there we go. Yeah, and there's one of the original packs. Ten cards, one sticker, one stick of gum. Superman 2, some random stuff that came out of Wizard Magazine. Uh, more packs. And we get to Superman 2, 88 cards, 22 stickers. Neil Faberzad. And this is how you got, this is how I, you know, this is the stuff that I just absorbed when I was a kid so I could do these movies back and forth. Look at that. Look at that. This is just good stuff. So, like I said, if anybody sees anything I'm showing that you want me to slow down, let me go through here. I want to find that. Yeah. It's one of my favorite Superman cards right there. Come in. The fastest boyfriend on Earth. Oh, I got the shakes. Switch hands. That is so funny. That cracks me up. All right, so this is pretty much the Superman stuff, so let's skip ahead here. There's the checklist. Okay, here you go, Spice Girls people. This was, uh, the Spice Girls had their own uh, suckers, and for some reason, I kept the pack. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, that's funny. Oh, no, they were stickers. 24 stickers to collect. Well, you know, I wonder what happened to them. And here's some of the puzzles you could have made. The keys to the puzzles. With all that and all of them on the back. And then we get down here to Supergirl. 
If you're hanging in this video, I'm so impressed. We get the Supergirls. Uh, and this one was done uh, with, you know, pink, and they actually told the whole story. Um, you know, this one's interesting, man. Like, you know, you the front and back, front and back, you know, gave them word balloons. Helen Slater did everything she could with that role. It was not her fault. Good stuff, man. So, yeah, Supergirl. There's some of the stickers. I love this set. Yeah, they're upside down, but I think you get the point. You can look these up. But yeah, they try to do them like comic book style. Very cool stuff. More stickers. Just a lot of fun. Danger. Man, this video is sucking. Sorry, guys. And uh, here's some of the puzzle I was telling you about. I went ahead and played around and kept them in there. So yeah, this is just, this was just seriously this was hours and hours of fun when you were a kid. What do we got here? Superman Returns with all the characters. All right. This is the one that's got, got holes, but you know we get this is one of the ones where we get scenes that did not make it into the movie. You know, um, some really good stuff. The black costume and a little bit more of what was going on. Uh, skipping ahead. Because we still got a lot. Yeah, and here's some of the special, uh, you know, special stickers that came in these metal cases I showed you a minute ago. The tin cases. These are uh, embossed. You can actually reach there and feel they're raised. They're raised like it goes around. It feels like he's raised off of that. Uh, the special stickers, the propaganda stickers. Um, it's really good stuff. And then the Batman, Batman Begins. This is the one where uh, I have holes in this one and I had enough. I had enough. But uh, like I said, just really cool stuff here, man. Let's get to the special stuff. These are pretty common. Um, yeah. You had tattoos that came in there, some stunt work that they showed, some mood. I've seen this as a poster. It's probably the movie poster. Uh, then here's some more of the stickers, the special cars that you got in the tins. So I have some Batman tins here. Some more and more stickers. Stickers are usually hard to get because people actually use them. Here they are. These are the special ones. These are raised also. You can actually kind of see that. Some holograms that I know won't show up. The H10 came with one of those. And of course there's the puzzle. I would sacrifice my numbering for the puzzle. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Moving on. Moving on. Turned into a long video. Uh, Return of the Jedi. I got this recently. Uh, I think I paid like three bucks, five bucks. I could go watch the video. So, uh, yeah. You know. So, this, there's going to be a ton of Star Wars in this. Admiral Akbar. I have the ride widescreen. And then they came out with a set of cards somewhere, I guess, around the 90s, where they just mixed all the movies with the special edition. I have a handful of those. Yeah, and there's some Attack of the Clones. So, yeah, yeah, all of those. But then, of course, we have the real Attack of the Clones sets. I uh, got these the honest way. actually would try to collect these myself. You know, cast of characters, Mace Windu, and Jar Jar. Some Jedi's. Uh, just some really cool stuff. And then we get to uh, my Star Wars Clone Wars. I absolutely freaking love these. I love these. These are really cool. And if you notice, the backgrounds match. They started realizing people were collecting them this way in these uh, contain, you know, these plastic holders here. So they started having the backgrounds match to make it look good. And when you flip through them, of course, we go to the widescreen again. So you know. These cartoons were supposed to be three minutes a piece, but I think they were, more, you know, some of them, I don't think they were all quite like that. Yeah. Um, you get concept art on the back here. Yes, it's upside down, but, you know, they threw in some extra stuff, explained some characters in the background. It's just, it's an expansion pack for the cartoon. Really good stuff. Oh, I love these. But these came out with some really neat cards. Here we go. Uh, we get some concept art when they were seriously like General Grievous. We got to see General Grievous before the movie uh, for Revenge of the Sith because uh, this tied right into it. And uh, we got a lot of uh, concept art, you know, for you. 
if you're big into Star Wars, you got some stuff that you wouldn't see anywhere else. And I'm, I'm sure these got printed elsewhere. Get that freaking glare off there. So yeah, that's why I really like this pack. This this one right here. This is just this start, just such an underrated. Look at that. Great art. Let you know. It got you excited about Revenge of the Sith because you know the prequels were the prequels. Really good stuff. There's some stickers. And they came with like, I don't know what these are, man, but like you can kind of see through these and as they moved, you know, eh, it's not gonna show up. But yeah, let's get some stickers. There's my Yoda. And Revenge of the Sith, you know. And this is how you knew that Darth Vader was coming. Uh, this came out before the movie, so you got a little bit of a spoiler there. Uh, you got to see, you know, the... You knew Darth Vader was finally going to appear, what, what he would look like all shiny and stuff. Emperor. So like I said, the card set would actually give you some uh, spoilers before the movies came out. You know, it's really good stuff. I did a good job getting you excited. And these were widescreen, but I think you kind of get the point. Um, and, uh, some more stickers. It's really good stuff. And Goonie cards. If you stuck it through it this far, you should be happy. You get to see the Goonies. Really proud of this. Really proud of this Goonies because, man, these cards here was when I really woke up to the fact that there's some spoiled kids out there. As kids, we would do cans and, uh, aluminum cans and little odd jobs so we could have some money to spend to, you know, get stuff like this. And I'll never forget the kid that had like a freaking lollipop. Uh, oh, man, he just had like lolly. He had like a Kool-Aid mustache all around his face. And his dad was sitting there and came in and bought the whole wax pack for him. And that's why none of us could get Goonie cards because this spoiled kid's dad would come in. There's the key to the puzzle. The spoiled, you know, the spoiled kid's dad would go around town and buy up these wax packs, you know. Oh, my Goonie cards. I might do a whole video on that. I may not have to be asked. Where is that glare coming from? The window is behind me on the other side. All right. So, uh, just fantastic Goonie stuff. And uh, another one of my favorite set of cards are coming up here. Let me get them up here. The Dark Crystal. Did not get the, yeah, love this movie, love this card set. I, I didn't even know they came out with a card set on this. This is a fantastic, fantastic set of cards. Uh, I got to be careful because I'll get lost in the cards if I look at them too long. Yeah, these are just, this was a really good set. That I love the purple borders on there. It really made it feel like something uh, different and special. These are so cool. So yeah, you can kind of walk through the whole movie with the Dark Crystal stuff. And then, uh, and I love this card because at the end of the movie, these when the Skeskis and the uh, other creatures finally merged together, they were bright lights. Now you get to slow down and really look at them, try to figure them out. It was such a fantastic movie. And then we get into Grease. This is the second set of Grease cards. So, yeah, I think you kind of get the point there. I've run long, so uh, I hope you kind of enjoyed this. As I, said, I hope you had Dramamine for the shaky cam that was going on. And this fantastic stuff here, man. But, yeah, um, I got a few more here, but I kind of think you get the point. This is like the superhero stuff. Um, real quick there. There's a death card. I saw death. Where did death go? Uh, there's Sandman, my favorite, one of my favorite characters. So Death, it's got a few holes in it. But uh, yeah, there she is. One of my favorite cards, Death. All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, you know, just uh, having a little fun here, showing this stuff off. And uh, like I said, if you saw a set of cards you actually want me to slow down and do a complete set on, just let me know. Later.